Hello there YouTube, Slow Python V1 here. Uh, real quick, I just wanted to show you a mod I just did for my uh, Flysky FS GT3B. This is an okay remote. Uh, it's, they're kind of, they're all right. Um, I think the lower level of Flyskies are just better for the price. The, the features this one comes with don't really outweigh the double price tag compared to like their cheaper end ones. They do the same thing receiver wise, you know what I mean? But this is a cool one to have because you can bind it to multiple ones. It's got an LCD display and everything. My issue is it takes eight AA batteries and it drains them very quick. And it's hard to have eight AA's fully charged all the time for this thing waiting to go. And it won't work once it gets past a certain voltage. So it's pretty annoying. I don't even have eight double A's that are rechargeable to my name, and I play Xbox. So, you know, what we're doing here today is we're swapping it to a Dean's plug. Pretty simple. Get two strands of wire thick enough. This is like, what, 12 or 16 gauge? 18 AWG. Yeah. So probably I would use 18 gauge minimum probably, you know, just because. And here you've got your... Your, uh, this is your DSC, your servo connector plug, and this is your charge plug on the side here. You know, they go through those holes. Now, this is just a 5 mil DC port, and the center pin is the positive. That would be that little metal bit right there, and the little side pin. The other one, the external, is the negative. I know both my lines are red. That's just all that I had right now, but, you know, you can see up here I uh, labeled them. But, yeah, anyway, yeah, you just... Solder the positive to the center bit there and the negative to that little little plate on the side there. It's fairly simple. The original battery tray plugs in off of this thing, I believe. And I tried plugging in something into this to, to run off of that directly, but it didn't work for some reason. So instead, we're just going off the DC port here. No problem there. It doesn't affect the DC port. You could still, without a battery in, you could still plug this in via a DC port if you wanted to. So that's cool. And uh, yeah, we're going to put this back together. And uh, I took that piece out of there, the tray. And then, yeah, the plug should just come right through there. And then I should be able to fit a 3S in there or maybe a 2S if it'll run off a 2S. I don't think it will, but I do have this this 3S here that I believe just barely fits in there. You might have to cut some plastic out or something to get that to work. But all right, let me pause this, put this all back together, and I'll show you how it looks when it's ready. All right, so I got this put back together. The LiPo is installed. Check this out. Now, there isn't exactly enough room for this 3S that I have. It's a little a little big, but if you find a smaller 3S, like a, one meant for maybe an airsoft gun, like I have one here. I think it's dead, but I got this one here, the skinny, skinny 3S pack. Um, these are, these are, this will probably fit in here. Uh, a little too long, but yeah, something like this would probably fit in there better than that. This will fit in here. I just can't put like, you know, I just can't put the old battery cover back on, but I mean, nothing a strap can't fix, right? Fits pretty, it goes in here and it sits snug. You just put that around it and bam, no problem. Now you can bring extra batteries easier that can be charged easier because it's also lighter because this thing with about eight double A's in it is pretty hefty. And, you know, I don't know why you need one of these to be that heavy. It just makes your hand tired if you're doing a lot of long driving, you know. But anyway, let's uh, show you that it turns on real quick. Bam, turns on. 10.6 volts. Yep. And like I said, you can still use that as long as you unplug the battery first. Don't plug something in there while you have a LiPo plugged into it because... Um, that would not be good. Anyway, your safety is your own priority, not mine. Good luck out there, guys. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoy modding your fly sky to take a lipo. And hopefully this thing helps me in my speed run because I am doing the, uh, I'm doing the poor boys to my TTO2 speed run and my last remote went runaway on me and, uh, it wasn't very nice, so... I've used this before, didn't have that kind of trouble with it, so uh, hopefully it works out good again. Peace out, guys.